Morning show at East Coast 0877711103. It's just talking about uh, this crisis of going through a lot of people at home, a lot of people working from home, a lot of people whose jobs are gone. A lot of people now presumably going to look at their skills, see what the economy will be like and what opportunities there will be when this all ends. So it's probably a good time to have a look at yourself and see what your future could be career-wise. To help you think and to, to come up with ideas. Let's talk to Elaine Harding from Storm Recruitment. Hello to you, Elaine. Hi, Declan. Good morning. How are you? Good morning to you. So is there much recruitment at the moment uh, outside supermarkets, for example? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely a difficult time. Now, there, there certainly still are roles on. Now, they would be more of the temporary um, sector purely because of the marketing and the uncertainty. But I suppose the biggest thing at the moment is really not to panic because we're seeing this now, as you can imagine, a lot of CVs coming in every day um, of people. Obviously worried in general, I can understand that there is a worry. Um, but don't panic is really the thing because what's happening is we're getting a lot of CVs sent in that have really, people haven't looked at their CV. And I think in a panic, they're just sending CVs out randomly everywhere and probably haven't sat down and actually looked at the CV and put some attention into it before they do that. And it really is key because you've only got one chance to make a good impression. So the thing would be to look at your career, if you haven't looked at your CV, look at your career over the last while and see your achievements and new skills that you've learned, even if you don't think they're new skills, but they are, and to include those. Hugely, yeah. So the first thing is obviously, I mean, we see the same type of mistakes coming up time and time again on CVs. So, you know, things like even simple things like spell check, uh, people forget to put phone numbers on CVs, uh, emails, they may use an out-of-date email. Uh, some people send the wrong CV. They may have a couple of CVs on their desktop, on their computer, and they send the wrong CV in. Uh, different font. I actually had a client two weeks ago who uh, declined a candidate to even call them in for interview because there was a spelling mistake in the first first line of their CV. Um, oh now, I know some people might think that's a very small mistake, but I suppose it's indicative of, of the attention to detail that they're looking for. So it really is important that you go through the CV. There's so many samples of CVs on Google. If you Google uh, CV layouts, you know, there, there's millions of templates out there that people can use. But it really is important that it should, the key points I suppose it should have, it should have your name, address, uh, telephone number and email. Obviously, you know, making sure that the email and the telephone uh, are correct, but also really important. And again, this might, <laughs> might sound ridiculous, but have a corporate voicemail on it. So, you know, we've had some funny stories of where we ring candidates about jobs and we get, you know, this kind of what's up, leave a message after the tone and all these, oh my God. you know, <laughs> it, it's funny, yeah. but if you're looking for a job, it's probably <laughs> not the right <laughs> message you want to be sending out to a potential employer. Um, another thing that's really important, Declan, is your, um, and we can't state this, is your social media presence. This is hugely important. So we say this time and time again to candidates, make sure your Facebook settings, your Instagram settings are private. Uh, you'd be amazed how much information you can gather on someone by opening up a Facebook page or, as I said, looking at an Instagram post. Some of it is just not suitable content that you want to, an employer to be seeing, you know, whether it's somebody with six cans of beer in their hand or, uh, you know, just really unsuitable content. And again, look, that's fine for your friends and, and that's all well and good. But if you want to be employed, an employer will go and look at what's out there about you on social media. So it's key to make sure your settings are private on Facebook and Instagram and any social media posts um, that are out there. Um, another thing that's really important is your LinkedIn profile. If you are of a kind of a senior um, caliber candidate, it's really good to have a good uh, LinkedIn profile. And there's a lot of, lot of um, help and assistance out there on building and growing your LinkedIn profile. Because again, employers will look at LinkedIn and a lot of people Indeed. don't think to have a LinkedIn profile. So that's really good as well. But one of the key tips, I know we're priced up for time, um, every day Storm will be actually running an online video training, um, CV tips and interview training every day from 11 to 12. Uh, and what this is, is you can actually check in online. We'll have all the details up on Facebook. It'll start on Monday. And you can come on and talk to one of our consultants. There's five of us here. And you can come in and talk to us online. And we can give you tips and video tips and that. Because obviously at the moment, a lot of people are doing interview video interviews. So it's really key that you have things like good Wi-Fi. Dress appropriately. Don't do an interview sitting in your tracksuit. Make sure you are dressed from the waist up. 
uh, as if you're going for an interview. <laughs> um, you know, we don't mind if you're in tracksuits on the bottom, but from the waist up, you know, make an effort because it is going okay. to be sent to a client. And, and it's um, best foot forward by the sound of it and all those tips. Okay, Elaine, we'll, we'll keep in contact with you as this crisis develops because there'll be a lot of people wanting to find out more information uh, on this lovely. for the return to work, fingers crossed. Elaine Harding from Storm Recruitment.